Let's recap the distributive law for multiplying out. If we need to expand this, what we first need to remember, of course, is if you just have that 5a next to the bracket with no sign there, then you have to remember that what we have done with algebra is we've just left out the multiplication sign. The other important thing to remember is then that this 5a is multiplying the whole bracket. So this 5a needs to multiply with each and everything inside the bracket. So to remind ourselves to do that, we can put in arrows like the following. 5a must multiply with a 3a and then it must multiply with the negative 2. So let's go ahead and do that. 5a multiplied by 3a. 5 times 3 is 15. a times a is a squared. And then we're going to have 5a multiplied by 2, which is going to be 10a. So we're going to have 15a squared subtract 10a. Try this one for yourself. Pause the video and try it now. OK, so you remembered that you have to multiply with each and everything in the bracket. Negative x squared multiplied by 3x is going to give you negative 3x cubed. And then you're going to have a negative times a negative, which gives you a positive, and you're going to get 5x squared. And just a quick little aside, the distributive law applies when you are multiplying over a bracket that has an addition or a subtraction inside. But if the bracket, like here, has just a multiplication inside, really all you're talking about is 5a multiplied by 3 multiplied by y. You don't apply a distributive law here. You simply go, it's all just multiplication. So 5a times 3 is 15a times by y is just 15ay. And sometimes you can have to do this multiplying out and then do some nice sorting out afterwards. So let's look at this one together. The first thing I want you to always do is check. If you've got a minus sign there, put a nice big mark around it so that you remember to be careful with it. Because it is so easy to forget that that minus sign must go with both things that are in the bracket. So. We've just got to do the distributive law twice here. There we've got to do it for that bracket, and then we've got to do it for this bracket, remembering the minus distributes as well. So let's go. 2a times 5a is going to give me 10a squared. 2a times b gives me 2ab. Then I'm going to have a minus times a minus, which gives me a plus. So I'm going to get plus 2a here. And then I'm going to remember this minus still again, minus times a minus gives me a plus again. So I'm going to have plus 3ab. Now I just have to sort this out. When I'm doing addition and subtraction in um, algebra, I need to look for like terms. So I start as with this 10a squared. Does it have a friend? No. Then I look at 2ab. Does it have a friend? Absolutely. It's got 3ab, which is a like term. And then I look here at 2a. Does it have something to go with? No. And so now I can sort it out. 10a squared stays by itself. 2ab plus 3ab gives me 5ab. And then I've just got the 2a.